Hi guys, Dr. Ben here. It's a rainy Tuesday and the quick tip for today is all about microwave ovens. I know this is um, an issue that has been talked about now for you know, 15, 20 years probably and, and questions around the safety of this heating method but I don't wanna get into whether or not this is a harmful way of, of reheating except to say when you do use a microwave, take your food out of the plastic. There's a lot of research showing that BPA exponentially is released from that plastic when it's heated with microwave radiation. Um, and uh, particularly baby bottles. Use glass, don't use the microwave. Um, use the stovetop instead to, to reheat these guys. But the whole point of this quick tip was just to say microwave ovens will deplete nutrient status. There was a study done that's a citation on PubMed um, back in 1998, which incidentally was the year I started university. My undergrad, um, my, my undergrad in kin at, at the University of Waterloo, which is mind blowing. But what this study showed was that when food was cooked in a microwave, B12 levels were significantly depleted, 30 or 40 percent. So. It stands to reason, this study obviously just looked at B12, but it stands to reason that this sort of deficiency will apply to all the nutrients, all the Bs, B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, um, the fat solubles A, D, E, and K, your antioxidants, your phytonutrients. Um, microwave radiation is going to neutralize. It's going to cause deficiency of these nutrients. And that's why we're eating. We're eating to fuel our body. So why would we use a heating method that depleted the fuel that our systems need? So why is this important? B12 is one of the single most important micronutrients our bodies can take in. It's responsible for supporting nerve health, our energy. It supports liver function, memory focus, concentration, um, our metabolism, our thyroid health, all of these systems are dependent on optimal B12. How do I know if my B12 is already deficient? Here's a list, bear with me as I read through it. Constantly feeling tired or fatigued, muscle weakness and aches, joint pain, difficulty breathing or shortness of breath, feeling dizzy, poor memory, inability to concentrate well, mood changes, anxiety and depression, um, having abnormal heart palpitations, um, poor dental health, uh, digestive problems like nausea, diarrhea or cramping, um, a poor appetite, very common with a B12 deficiency. Um, and then if it gets dramatically depleted, anemia. So this quick tip is just to say we want to optimize the amount of this nutrient in our systems for all the reasons we discussed. Avoiding microwaving our food is one way that we can ensure we're getting as much B12 as a as is available to us. That's today's quick tip. I hope you found it valuable. Your B12 levels sure will. I'll see you next time.